Hey guys, welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Um, I think we're going to go for some more pieces of heart today. Uh, there's just a few things that I want to do before starting the whole Zora's River section. I hope you can hear me okay over the music. I don't think the music is too loud, but, like, I also don't want to have the music any quieter than this because I want to hear it, so... Uh, just like walking in the park. Just like walking through Hyrule. I remember... I remember Twilight Princess's... Okay, I will turn it down. I remember Twilight Princess's Hyrule field feeling a bit, uh, empty. I mean, it was really pretty, and especially, like, the moon in Twilight Princess, like, the sky. Oh, by the way, this is, like, the way I... the thing that I always used to do when I was younger, the side hop to get around faster. Oh god, so those things are scary. Those things are pea hats. But, uh, we actually don't need to worry about them. So that's Lake Hylia over there. Wait a second, where's, where's the Kokiri Forest? It's, well it should say on your map, you big buffoon. Lawn Line, Market, Hyrule Field, Death Mountain, Kakariko, Lost Woods is to the east. The forest is to the east. I love in Majora's Mask where they're like, mountains to the north, ocean to the east, canyon to the west, you know, the, like the whole cardinal directions thing. It's not, it's not here, right? This is just wall. So it must be back here. I feel dumb when I don't know where I'm going. Um, I started playing a game called the Sirena Expedition, or Sirena, however you want to pronounce it. It's kind of like um, a 2.5D platformer. Um, and the platforming is nothing that special. It's like very narrative driven. Um, it has the illusion of 3D, but the platforming is completely on rails. So you press left and it'll take you one way, and you press right and it'll take you another way. <laughs> um, there's basically no way to deviate from the set path of the game. But it's very narrative driven, um, very cool. Uh, the whole thing takes place kind of, uh, underwater in an abandoned facility, and then, uh, just going deeper and deeper into it. It's sort of, uh, a little bit creepy, but not creepy creepy. Not like horror. I mean, it goes for horror, but I don't think it's that scary because maybe I'm, I don't know, not easily scared. Uh, if we go to this guy... And, uh... Well, we already did this, right? Hey, man, that's a super cool song. Let's play again sometime. What happens if you just play random songs? Let's play again sometime. What? How do I, uh... Okay, never mind. I thought I thought there's another piece of heart that you get by doing that. I'll have to look at the walkthrough. My memory is not perfect of this game. Well, that was a waste of time. I don't want it to be a waste of time because I walked all the way over here. I walked all the way to Kokiri Forest. Unless there's a different Skull Kid, which I don't think there is. I don't remember it looking so red at night. Like very sunsetty, or I guess it's sunrisey. Kinda type shit I've been on, you know. Oh no, a big thing is going to demolish me with its helicopter blades. Blades of fury with Will Ferrell. The Blades of Fury? What's that movie where Will Ferrell's the ice skater? Anyway. 
So that's one game I've been playing. Uh, I finally started playing a game called Songbird Symphony, which has some, like, uh, rhythm game type segments, but overall it's like a cute, like, uh, Metroidvania type game. Uh, or, you know, whatever you like to call those games. Non-linear platformers. Platformers with emphasis on exploration. Um, uh, and it's kind of like a Ugly Duckling type story. Have we talked to you again? Oh yeah, before we woke up your dad from his drunken stupor. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. He's talking to the 13-year-old girl. It's okay, because they're both 13. Um, I don't know how old they are. They look pretty young. I remember... Epona's afraid of me. I want to I wanna learn your song. Oh, okay. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you gonna play this song with that ocarina? Yes. Should I have come back with a different ocarina? I guess you can. You get some different dialogue. Don't remember what I was saying. Probably it was about, uh... The death of O.J. Simpson. I don't know. I, didn't I predict his death in another episode? <laughs> Did I mention him? Did I mention South Park? Did I mention uh, Rayman 2? Oh, what's the owl doing there? So, gets pushed by a horse. Please stop pushing me, horse. And uh, the horse is a uh, baby, so let's not ride it yet. Let's instead uh, ride her. No, I mean, talk to her. Good. Okay. So will that show up on our list of songs that we've learned? We got four songs. Zelda's Lullaby, Epona Song, Saria Song, Safari Song, Google Chrome Song, Safari Song. Oh crap. Oh, oh, I just remembered something. I just remembered that Mark Zuckerberg is still alive. No, I'm kidding. Um, I just remembered that, uh, <laughs> remembered that Detroit exists. No, I'm, I'm sorry to anyone who lives in Detroit. I, the great Ingo, I'm working on this dump of a ranch. That's my villain arc. Okay. Ingo. <laughs> and then he went on to start a band with Danny Elfman. I love how, like, the... The pre-rendered, like, Grim Fandango-style graphics in here. Like, I mentioned that's one of the things that I love about this game that they got rid of in Majora's Mask. Is some of, like, the fixed, uh... Like, the pre-rendered textures are just... They have a very certain style that makes me kind of nostalgic. Mumble mumble, huh? I've been drinking Fireball. <laughs> Fireball actually sounds good. Drink to forget, you know what I'm saying? Took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? Hold on one second. Yoink. Okay. I got my OBS open, just so that I can see how long I've been going. If you can pick out these three special birds from among among us. So I'll make a this is very, very annoying. Maybe not like as as annoying as the uh Start looking. Jeez, don't tell me what Okay, well I saw this one land. So that makes it easy. And then uh and then good luck with the other two. Just pick up cuckoos at, uh, at will, and throw them at will. Maybe there's a better strategy. But just keep mashing the button, and, uh, 
Hope you do well. And I didn't do very well. It's one, two, three. I found one of them. How about you? I found two of them. How about you? No, that that was all of them. Well, that went well. How do I like to marry Malin? That, I skipped over so much text and it skipped straight to that. <laughs> I think you're a little young to understand the birds and the bees. A <laughs> cuckoo just walked in front of the camera. So when somebody says, what's up, chicken butt, they meant it literally. Buy a refill anytime you want. So now we have two bottles. Um, Ocarina of Time only has four bottles instead of six. It's kind of funny that I've already done a playthrough of Majora's Mask. I remember that playthrough. That was a that was a good time. That was uh, from 2018 to 2020 was when I did that game. So just over two years. Um, what am I trying to say about that? I don't know. It was just uh, a good time to be playing a Zelda game. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was a really fun project to just do sort of during uh, during my undergrad years. And now that I'm in graduate school, I'm doing this one. Of course, I only got a month left of graduate school. Been pretty depressed today, but the fact that I only have one left of, month left of school, I guess, is something to be encouraged about. And the fact that I've got some good games to play. So yeah, there's Serena Expedition, there's Songbird Symphony... There's, um, I also got some 3D platformers that I've been wanting to play, uh, Pseudo Regalia and, um, Cavern of Dreams. I didn't get very far with Corn Kids 64. I, I found it kind of frustrating, so maybe I will not do very well with those other games. There's just a lot of games that I've gotten and then I've been like, oh, I'll wait until I decide to do a Let's Play of it, so then I can do the Let's Play blind and do my first reaction. And then I just have a huge backlog of games that in my Steam that I haven't, uh... Oh, okay, thanks for the advice. I still think he's related to, um, the owl from Winnie the Pooh. Or just owl from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I think there might be a Skulltula in this tree... But do we have to wait till night? No. So these Skulltulas come out in the day, but all the other ones only come out at night. I'm not sure how that works. But it's turning to sunset now, so maybe it is technically night. I like how they make you come here after you get the bombs. They put a bunch of rocks in your way. Um, so you wanna go over to this guy and he sells you a bunch of magic beans, and you want as many as possible, but he keeps uh, raising the price. And it's, it's the uh, principle of uh, supply and demand that I remember my history teacher telling us about. The more, the more we buy, the more, uh, the less the supply, but the greater the demand, so that the price skyrockets because of capitalism. All my homies hate capitalism. I, I don't care. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I made a, a joke about capitalism and now all the Ben Shapiro's in the audience are gonna get mad. No, whatever, I mean... First off, Ben Shapiro doesn't watch my videos. Second off... I don't know, there's just... Some countries, uh, no country really has their shit together, like, has everything figured out. I mean, maybe, like, fucking Estonia or something, but, you know, 
I forgot about that piece of heart. Um, so well, I'm saying I'm just saying that uh, every country has their different strengths and weaknesses, and like shit on one country for you know doing this. Of course, some countries are a lot worse than others, but you know people live there and people adapt to it. But you know. God, it's really sad that there's just still so much war and so much violence going on even today. Like, I'm sure people thought that, like, after World War II, like, surely things would never get that bad again. And I mean, there hasn't been another World War, but things are still bad. So, I guess things are bad, but they're not as bad. But everything's all perspective, so... I don't know what, what I'm talking about. Um, so here's Zora's Domain. Here's the, the peaceful shower music. Because I remember this one guy on YouTube left a comment about like, when he needed to relax, he would like take a shower and turn on this music and just like stand under the shower, but, like pretend it was a waterfall or something. A lot of my friends seem to really enjoy, like, listening to music in the shower. I have a hard time he- I, th I think you would have a hard time hearing it over the water, but... <laughs> uh, that's- that's neither here nor there. Um... Oh my goodness, here's the infamous Fish King. All my homies hate the Fish King. Um... Kanye West is a gay fish. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Oh, wow. It played the noise. It played the noise, but, um, it really did nothing. It was completely insignificant. Is there a special doohickey, majicky, majicky, mahookie that, uh, what the fuck is he talking about? Um, that happens when you light all the tor- how many torches are there? Oh no, it went out. Well, the thing- I think the, like, the solid ones are, uh... Yeah, okay, there's one over there. I love the, like, the weird flame sound in this game. Because it doesn't actually sound like fire. But it's still a very nostalgic sound, nonetheless. It's like the ch 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 <laughs> this is very weird kind of a ASMR sound from a video game. Um, I wonder how they made that sound, you know? How do they actually... Do they have a Foley artist, you know, just for this game? I'm sure they did. Alright, we walk over here. We light this torch. And watch this do absolutely nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Hooray! And I'm wasting Deku... St oh, come on. How, how did the... How, how am I so bad at this game? Oh, and there's two behind the waterfall? Hell no. Because the waterfall is going to put out my stick anyway, so... It's a waste of time. I don't know. I thought maybe... Maybe, just maybe, it did something important. How about this guy? Does this guy do the thing yet? Is he like, oh... Do play my mini game for shits and giggles. Diving game, 20 rupees. Wanna play? I don't have money, dude. I'm broke as... Broke as shit, dude. Anyway, that's not important. Mr. Zora King, man. I am requiring your help, Zora King, man. Uh... Do I have to... Do I have to, like, prove that I'm a thing? No... What do I do? What do I do, man? What do I do? Yo, how's, how's it going, my, my buddy, my guy? I know, I don't know where she went. I'm sorry, man. And then we go up here and his fat ass is in the way, so... Um, anyway... I'm probably gonna have to end this episode here, so 
I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.